Today in this session, we are going to learn what are the environment, economic and safety issues related to nano packaging. As all of you know that the unique properties of nanoscale materials have made them attractive for multidisciplinary applications including agriculture and their allied activities such as food technology. The media and public attention over the nanotechnological advancement leads to the massive adoption of nanoparticles based consumer products in our day to day activities. Among the various application of nanotechnology in food processing, bio nanocomposite based food packaging is at the forefront and which is driving the whole food industry activities with high speed of development. Although nanotechnologies are considered as key technologies that can drive growth generating innovations not only in food industry but also in all type of industries at all levels. But the level of food technology neophobia is significant to the usage of nanotechnology in food packaging and related food application. The reason behind is the truth that the safety of nanoparticles with respect to human health, human exposure in the working environment and environment is yet to be studied. Environmental and economic issues in nano packaging. Let us see what are the environmental issues related to nanotechnology. The bioavailability, disposition behavior, toxicity and fate of nanoparticles in the environment were elaborately discussed in the review given by Kalein et al. during the year 2008. According to the review, there exists a massive silence regarding the accumulation of nanoparticles in food chain and in the environment. Only limited research data is available on nanoparticles impact in waste disposal streams and with that available data arrival of a solid conclusion is very difficult. The review further clearly highlights the lack of information regarding the release and fate of nanoparticles in the environment, particularly from water and wastewater treatment devices. Groundwater contamination and food contamination due to nanoparticles is yet another area to be further explored considering the ability of the nanoparticles to travel over a great distance through penetrating deep layers of solid strata. Physical and chemical transformation of nanomaterial over a period of time, recovery and recycling of nanoparticles to make new packaging material ought to be revealed to understand the environmental issues related to bio nanocomposite packaging material. Students, now let us discuss the occupational health and safety issues related to bio nano packaging. Cautious assessment of occupational health and safety of nanoparticles exposure in both living and occupational environment is need of the hour considering the widespread use of nanotechnology based innovations. Various issues such as difficulties in nanoparticles manufacturing and handling, limited knowledge concerning the nanoparticle toxicological profile as well as the uncertainty concerning the stability of nano innovations under aggressive or long term operation as in case of nanoparticles incorporated construction products or the super capacitors containing nano sized electrode materials further support the need for a careful consideration of the health and safety issues derived from nanoparticles exposure. Number of potentially hazardous exposure conditions for workers involved in nanotechnology activities is highlighted in the table 1. The next big issues related to the nano packaging are economic issues. Public and private spending on research and development of nano science and nanotechnology has been estimated from 43 crore in 1997 to 600 crore in 2006. While private spending is around 0.4 crore in 2004 to 60 crore in 2006, the National Nanotechnology Initiative NNI, a United States research program on nanotechnology, spent approximately 15 crore on nanotechnology based research. European Union's seventh framework program that is constituted during 2007-2013 approved 
35 crore for nanosciences, nanotechnologies, materials and new production technology. German spends around 33 crore and in France it is estimated as 15 crore and British it is around 5 to 7.5 crore per annum on the nanotechnology research. Southeast Asian countries are also spending a huge amount of for nanotechnology based research and development activities. During 2006 to 2010, Japan constituted a committee called Third Science and Technology basic plan and allocated 50 crore for technology research and development. As a result of huge spending on this emerging technology, number of patents in this area is increasing drastically. European and Japan shares the second position next to United States as per the report by US Patent and Trademark Office and the European Patent Office. From the figure, you can clearly understand that the category wise spending on nanotechnology dominates health sector and life sciences that is around 18 percentage followed by chemical industries that is around 12 percentage. Different sources calculate the market potential of nanotechnology based products during 2004 was around 129 crore and by the 2006 nearly on 500 crore. Predictions were done to realize the market potential by 2015 and found to be 1000 to 2000 crore. Tremendous growth is predicted for the nano packaging market which grew from a 1 crore to 140 crore during the period 2005 to 2013. Such kind of statistics clearly shows the expectations are what is called a nano hype and depicts the real potential of nanotechnology. Further, it is understood that nanotechnology may produce profound effects on the economy, society and the environment as never expected. Now, the concern is how the society is going to receive these changes in a responsible way and make use of such a technological friend for what purpose, which time frame and priority instead of asking why is the case with some underdeveloped countries. While the amount of nanoparticles being produced is rising exponentially that you can understand from the following figure, there is a clear gap exists in proper characterization and standardization of nanoparticles risk mitigation, risk that includes the risk assessment and risk management associated to nanoparticles and nano innovations. This condition leads to make the technology too costly in all terms economic, political, societal and environmental and will have following negative impact. The negative impacts includes increase in the production cost due to the lack of quality standardization of nanoparticles will have direct impact on the producer's finance status and market share. Further, it reflects on the international business finally to the consumer. The second negative health implications could be costly and unnecessary due to poor assessment of toxicological aspects of nanoparticles which reflects in the contradicting results obtained for the same nano material. And the third could be due to the absence of mechanism to evaluate the impact of nanoparticles well in advance rectifying the environmental issues could be too costly and sometimes may not always possible. The fourth one is social cost of an irresponsible technology developed which could be avoidable risk may induce financial restrictions to nano science and nanotechnology public research, social rejection due to the fear and ultimately leads to boycotts to nano products. Now let us see the need for safety assessment for nano composite food packaging. Irrespective of the convenience offered by bio nano composite packaging material in food packaging, it is necessary for us to assess fully and effectively the safety of nanoparticles used in food packaging 
and contact materials. Safety assessment in terms of migration study, sources, distribution and toxicity of nanocomposite packaging material is need of the hour to further increase the level of acceptance and adoption of this newer technology. Experimented data related on the potential migration of nanoparticles into food and drink are not available. The difficult procedure involved in characterization of the nanoparticles in composites as well as lack of standard procedure and protocol for the qualitative and quantitative measurements of the nanoparticles are responsible factors that needs to be addressed on periodic basis to understand the migration characteristics of nanoparticles. While the source of exposure of human to nanoparticles is mainly the atmosphere within and around the workplaces in the manufacturing process, the European Centre for Ecotoxicology and Toxicology of Chemicals revealed that inhalation, thermal contact and oral ingestion are three major processes by which nanoparticles enters into human system. Researchers in this area should pay special attention to the gastrointestinal absorption and possible side effects of nanoparticles in the human being. Nanoparticles can have serious effects on health when they accumulate in high concentration in tissues and eventually leads to tissue dysfunction or damage. Two type of mechanism can be adopted to explain the toxicity effect of nanoparticles on human. First one is that the toxicity that is independent of the nanoparticles and could be realized by generating the reactive oxygen species within the cell. The second one is due to the chemical composition of the nanoparticle itself. Example of the second category is the kind of toxicity includes the modification in the secondary and tertiary conformation of the protein due to crystallization and recrystallization of some metal or metal oxide nanoparticle. The safety assessment of nanoparticles and nanomaterials does not imply restraining the application of nanoparticles and nanomaterials in food industry, but call for the attention of the scientific community to solve the following expected challenges arising out of the use of nanoparticles in food packaging. The challenges can be listed one by one as below. The first challenge is effective separation and determination technique for the nanocomposite material. And second challenge is the physical chemical characterization of the commonly used nanoparticles. And third being the relationship between particle size and purity and toxicity. Methods for determining and assessing the migration potential and process of nanomaterial from food contact materials to packed food. And the fifth challenge is toxicity development due to oral intake of a wide range of nanoparticles. The sixth challenge is the generation of toxicokinetic information of commonly used nanoparticles after oral exposure and a guideline for appropriate dosage level for safe consumption. Now let us see the human safety aspects of exposure to nanoparticles. There is a small but growing body of toxicological literature that suggests the that the nanoparticles are more reactive, more mobile and more likely than larger particles to be toxic to humans and the environment. Preliminary scientific research has shown that many type of nanoparticles can result in increased oxidative stress which can result in the formation of free radicals that can lead to cancer, DNA mutations and even cell death. Fullness carbon nanoparticles have been found to cause brain damage in large mouth bars, a species accepted by regulatory agencies as a model for defining ecotoxicological effects. In its 2004 report, the United Kingdom's Royal Society recognized the serious risks of nanotoxicity and recommended that ingredients in the form of nanoparticle should undergo a full safety assessment by the relevant scientific advisory body before they are permitted for use in the products. 
Despite this warning, two years after the Royal Society's report, there are still no laws governing the use of nanoparticles in consumer products to ensure that they do not cause harm to the public using them, the workers producing them or the environmental system in which waste nanoparticles are released. Coming to the assessment agencies involved in the assessing the safety of the nanoparticles. A participation from all stakeholders such as government, private players, scientists, industry and other is need of the harbour in careful assessment of impact of nanotechnology in the all possible areas. Informed debate is very much essential to avoid the kind of polarization that has been seen over the issue of genetic modification. Unless rapid action is taken to address concerns about the safety aspect of nanotechnology, research into nanotechnology could very well progress faster than the system can be put in place to regulate its application and their uses. Many organizations are already involved worldwide to monitor the nanotechnology research. They are into the formulation of guidelines and frame the regulations for the safe use of this emerging technology. Food and Drug Administration, which regulates the nanotechnology based products in the United States of America, has given many important information on nanotechnology in food packaging application in their website. You can refer to the website given in the further information section. The National Nanotechnology Initiatives NNI is yet another federal research and development program established in the United States of America to coordinate the nano skill science, engineering and technology between different agencies. Approximately 26 federal agencies including Food and Drug Administration, United States Development of Agriculture, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Health and Human Services and the Consumer Product Safety Commission etc. Under this umbrella, a subcommittee of NNI, namely Nanotechnology, Environmental and Health Implication NEHI Working Group has been formed during 2005 to monitor the nanotechnology, nanoscale, science and engineering innovations. This work group has the responsibility of sharing of nano related information between different agencies that include Nanotechnology Research Institute, agencies involved in framing regulations and guidelines related to nano products. The working group also facilitate to carry out responsible research and development in many ways. It includes identification, prioritization and implementation of the research and other activities required for and oversight of nanotechnology. Research methods of life cycle analysis. In addition to this, the working group is also effectively communicating all relevant information related to the research on environmental and health implication of nanotechnology to other government agencies and non-government parties and support development of nanotechnology standards including nomenclature and terminology by consensus based standard organizations. Following table summarize the findings of the working group. To conclude, in the safety aspects of nano packaging in food packaging applications, nanotechnology found wide applications in agriculture and related industries such as food processing and food packaging etc. because of the unique properties of nanoparticles. Nanotechnology involvement in food packaging industries offer variety of opportunities like reduction in the pressure on raw material availability, source for the renewable energy, energy improvement in delivery system, efficient and safe use of unconventional water, better ecosystem and livelihood conditions etc. However, these opportunities need to be balanced with a greater possibility of practical challenges. The challenges may arise from different horizons such as environmental, social as well as human health and safety aspects. In this context, a careful and democratic discussion needs to be thought of between different expert groups working in the field of nanotechnology, particularly in terms of environmental, public and occupational health issues due to the usage of nanoparticles. 
This effort and consideration will maximize environmental, societal, health benefits of this promising still emerging field of nanotechnology. In addition to this, this will also lead to the cost savings and greater investment to tap the full potential benefits of nanotechnology.